Mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am at Daytona Motorcycles in Ricelip because I was called up on late notice to ride the new GSX S1000. Ugh, I thought I was going to fuck that up in my head. So used to saying GSXR, and now I've got to get used to GSX S. Just a, a note right at the start this thing looks amazing. For a naked bike, it looks so fucking good. And I'm properly excited because this bike has caused quite a stir. Um, I was just talking to Ricky, who's one of the guys who works at Daytona. He was just amazed at the amount of interest that this bike stirred <laughs> straight off the bat. I mean, um, so let's talk about the bike a bit. So. Suzuki for a long time have been asked by quite a few customers for a naked GSX R1000. Now they do GSR750 and they have done for quite a long period of time. Fuck me! Fucking hell! Jesus Christ! Okay, so um, <laughs> that brings me swiftly on to the next impressive thing about this bike. So everyone kind of parks back to the era of the K5 1000 and the K6 1000. Well, this has the same engine as that very bike. Exactly the same. The King, the, the, the long stroke 1000. Oh my fucking word. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. So I'm just taking it around town at the minute to get used to its sort of agility. And oh my God, it's such an agile bike. <laughs> I think the best way to say it is I've ridden quite a few naked bikes uh, in the past probably year actually. Um, I haven't actually put a lot of them up on YouTube because mainly because I had nothing really nice to say about them. And it wasn't because of the actual bike itself. I, I, I think that naked bikes at the moment, I think they're getting really good. And I think that you've just got to be a much better rider than myself to ride it. But this thing, oh, it's good. It's really good. Let's have a look at the dash and stuff. So on the bottom here, you've got a fuel gauge, which is fucking brilliant. It's a fucking fuel gauge. I've never had a fucking fuel gauge in my life. Um, so above there, you've got traction control. You've got the rev counter on top. In the middle, you've got the gear shift just to the right and then the left. Dead center, you've got the miles an hour. It's very clear. It's, you know, it's exceptionally clear. It's quite compact, but it's exceptionally clear. Um, you've got the time on the left-hand side. This bar, it's got a Renthal bar. I don't know if that's standard. I might ask uh, Ricky if that's standard or not, because that's a Renthal bar. It's pretty cool. So this bike, as I said, is basically a naked K5 Jixathal, but with modern suspension, really, really good brakes. This thing's got Brembo's on it. I mean, fucking hell, it's got fucking Brembo's on it. And they feel, I mean, that lever is unbelievably firm. I mean, really, really good bike from the, from the brakes, really good. Um, that's worthy of the Aprilia brakes, actually. That's fucking firm right there. Better than the ones on my 750 anyway. Maybe they need a rebuild. But uh, yeah, I'm quite, uh, quite impressed so far. The, the overall kind of feeling of the bike feels fantastic. It's like eight or nine grand. Brand new. <laughs> oh my God. That engine is actually smoother than mine. Oh, oh my God, how good is this bike? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. This bike is so fucking good. Guys, if you're looking for a ridiculously fun road bike and one that you can go on tour with, you can kind of doodle about town. I mean, the torque in it is ridiculous. The, the, the torque is right there. When you, when you get on the power, it is right there. No let up at all, all the time. And people are complaining about snatchy throttle, but fuck, oh, it sounds so good. Good points so far. Handling, really good. Really light and nimble. Feels so easy to ride, it's unreal. I mean, I'm not gonna go as far as to say a learner could jump on this and ride it because it has got a lot of power, guys. It's a serious amount of power. 
This thing they are claiming has 154 horsepower or 145 horsepower, something 5445, five, something like that. A lot. <laughs> but in actual fact, Suzuki think that their bikes are producing about 160. And 160 horsepower in a bike like this is a shitload. A proper, proper shitload. Because this power is the best kind. It's usable right off the bat and uses that long stroke motor to develop so much fucking torque. It just feels amazing to get on the power. Feels so fucking good to get on the power. So engine, yes. The second point, which may not be of massive worry to a lot of people, but comfort. Now, comfort on most sports bikes is fucking shocking, let's be honest. But GSX-Rs have always actually been quite good, quite good. And so have uh, Hondas. Hondas have always not been too bad on the old, on the old anus. They've been pretty relieving on the old anus. Mirrors are good. Mirrors are good. Although they look fucking massive. They look a bit hideous, but you, at least you can see stuff out of them, which is more than I can say for quite a lot of fucking bikes nowadays. Oh! One, power. Awesome! Two, comfort. It's just ridiculous. I mean, I know upright bikes are supposed to be comfortable anyway, but this is ridiculous. I mean, it's so plush, but so planted. The plush and planted combination is, uh, the plush to planted ratio is going, uh, is going AWOL. But, uh, yeah. So, he was talking me through it. Uh, basically four levels of traction control, if you want to call it like that. So you've got off, so you can turn the traction control off in this. You've got one, which is race. You've got two, which is road, and three, which is wet. Um, I've got it in two at the moment, and it's... It still doesn't feel any less of a hooligan. It's it's a proper fun bike whilst being controlled. Um, this bike has ABS on it, um, which is pretty cool actually. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. Oh, it's oh, it's a fucking unbelievable fucking wanking jizz machine that's what it is so 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 fucking good i want one right now i would seriously as a road bike goes this thing is so good oh you fucking wanker why is everyone doing that to me today do you get those days when people just naturally pull out on you oh it's so good in traffic as well Oh, I want one. I really want one. I uh, I was talking about riding some naked bikes, and uh, or riding bikes naked. <laughs> Which one? Which will it be? Possibly both. Tune in next week. Um, I have ridden the Z1000. I almost, almost got to ride an S1000R, which I was gutted about because I really fucking wanted to ride that. Um, and l last of which, I went with Mumble to test ride the KTM Super Duke 1290, which I know a lot of people are craving and a lot of people like, and a lot of people are really like, oh, I really want one. And like, oh, people say it's so good. But actually, I wasn't really bowled over with it. Um, it it's fucking powerful, but it just didn't feel as usable as this. This feels, this feels like you could just use full power all the fucking time. Or you can just keep it at low revs and it will just doodle around like this, you know? Just easily go, eh, this is fine. That's what I like about it, that's what I really like. And I'm looking for a bike that I can go touring on and do everything on, like even mundane commutes and stuff as well. And this just seems so fucking easy. It seems like such a good and such an easy choice as I'm so familiar with Suzuki's anyway. No, yeah, it helps if you look. They also do a GSX S 1000 F, so it's like a fared version, which I imagine for fucking touring would be so good. I really want one right now. I really, really want one. It, it's a really, really strange thought because I'm making myself come to the conclusion that I wasn't going to want it 
I was just like, nah, what do you need a road bike for? You've never liked road bikes. You've never really liked naked bikes. You've you've tried them. You've tr don't fucking do that. You've never really kind of liked them. You've just kind of put up with them for doing a test, and, and then you just don't show the videos because you you don't really think they're that they're that great. But this one has really changed my mind. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a little really monster as well. Oh, it's proper. Good old fashioned fun. That's what it is. Guys, really, I really, really recommend going to try one of these out. If you're an avid sports bike person, seriously, try one of them out. I think it will really surprise you. I'm sold. <laughs> I'm completely fucking sold. Oh my Jesus, ball sack, it's so good! What a usable bike. And when you don't want it to be, just put it in fourth and just poodle around. And it's comfortable as anything. I don't think I've been more comfortable all day. I was at work earlier in a bloody fucking armchair thing. I don't think I was as comfortable as this. This is absolutely fantastic. And yet, it's it's a master of two trades. It's it's the most comfortable commuting, normal, everyday, run-of-the-mill bike. And then, change it down to, and it turns into a fucking maniac. It's a controlled maniac. It's a maniac on medication, but not too much. You still know he's a maniac. <laughs> Does that make any sense? <laughs> and it's unbelievably nimble. Unbelievable. I don't know if it's got the same kind of chassis as the K5000, but it feels unbelievably light. And the K5 was renowned for being one of the lightest Jix 1000s ever made. But this just feels, it makes my 750 look a bit sluggish. I think the summary, guys, it's brilliant. It's taken a serious amount to even make me consider buying a naked bike. I mean, I love the look of them. You know, you get some really lovely looking ones, really great noises and stuff. But the handling, you know, the performance has never been quite there. Until now. Oh, <laughs> oh what a fantastic bike. What a jaw-dropping bike! I just want to ride this thing all fucking day until I drain the tank. And then, you know what? I just go to a petrol station, fill it up again and keep riding it. I, all I can say is thank you so much, Suzuki for putting faith in me about the Super Naked class because, quite frankly for me, Super Naked, this is the one you got to beat. Simple as. This bike is the best naked bike I've ever ridden in my life. And to be quite fair, I don't think anything is going to touch it. Maybe the S1000R is, you know, as good as this as well, but I just love this... Uh, I love this bike's understatedness, you know, how good it is for what it is, a 7-8 grand bike. Panic stations, I've just put a deposit down for one of these. <laughs> yes, it's true, I've gone completely fucking mad. I've just put a deposit down for one and Ricky tells me that there's no one else booked in for today so I can take it out for another 15 minutes if I like. He said you might as well ride it because we're only going to have it for another day. And then it moves on to the next dealership. So I'm going to do these guys a favour and rev the tits off it. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's how much I like it, guys. I literally took it for a 45-minute test ride. I walked straight back into the dealership and I put a deposit down for one. <laughs> that's how much it impressed me. And uh, I've, uh, I've actually ordered the ABS model. Uh, literally just five minutes ago 
and uh, he's told me just fucking go back out on it you clearly had a blast on it go and have some more fun I was like I can only say yes you cheeky cheeky chappy It's such a fucking jizz machine! Let's just pull over and you can have a proper look at it because you probably haven't seen it. So I'm riding the red and black one. If you hadn't already guessed by the colour scheme, I'll put it in the middle of a bay so you can get a proper look at it. But trust me on this, the photos do not do it justice. It looks so much better. In the flesh. So this is it. Where is it? That's it. That's what it looks like. I've almost got the fucking uh, chicken strips off already. <laughs> oh, really cool. Really, really cool. Probably things I'd change on it. Uh, mirrors, probably, I'd change. Tail tidy, definitely. Definitely the tail tidy I'd, I'd get for that. Because the rear end is so nice. It's really nicely shaped. Uh, what else would I change? Not much really. I really wouldn't change much on it. It's a fucking brilliant bike. Like, completely out of the box. Just fantastic. Can't, can't think of one thing that I'd want to change on it. I've gone out to ride a bike which I thought I'd hate. I've loved it and I've gone back in and I've fucking bought it, haven't I? Here we go! It is absolutely fucking brilliant! Thank you so much, fucking Suzuki! So there you go, guys. GSX S1000 review. And my new bike. 